Hey everybody, Big Rich here with Ohio Fish Rescue, and we are doing another specialty tank. Now this ain't a big tank, it's only 180 gallon, but it is by far one of my favorite tanks. It has my African arrow in it, my geophagus, clown loaches. So stick with us, this is going to be awesome. Okay guys, look at the streamers on my geophagus. Look at the blue coloring in this guy. This is just amazing. Look at him. He ain't picked on by anybody. And you think because he's an earth eater, he's the reason all the sand is over all these uh, plants. But we've got all kinds of plants in their cribs and stuff like that. But no, the sand is from the air, African arowana. He goes down and grabs a bunch of sand and he'll come up and he'll swim and put the sand out of his uh, gills and it falls down like snow on top of the plants. If we're lucky here, we might be able to get a, uh, a view of that happening. There's the giant Siamese carp. And then, oh, look at there. There is uh, one of the Chinese uh, high fin banded sharks. There's another one right there. Everything in here is so peaceful to each other. Everybody gets along. Alrighty, let me see here. There's some floating plants, some driftwood, all kinds of different plants here. Look how big these guys have gotten. They're about six inches now. There was three. We had lost one when they first came in. But this guy, I'd say he's about 10, 11 inches. Look at how beautiful he is. And all them colors, oh my God. He's just like literally one of my favorite fish here. And so is that African arrow. Only because not many people have them. And then everybody loves their clown loaches. And I have never been able to grow out a high fin banded shark to a, a very big size. Oh, look at you. Look at how neat this tank is. And then our, our discus. The reason we kept them was they're the mated pair, and they do lay eggs every now and then. But look how many, look how many clown loaches are in the back back there. There's just hordes of them back there. Any that ever come in, we throw them in together and we just keep them in there. And they're from all different sizes in there. But this is a 180 gallon. And that's not a background, that's a cloth on the back that looks like a background that we got hanging there. See the wrinkles in it? It's just hanging there, and that helps cover. Ouch, look at this. This is our filter system right behind the 180, and the, the plants are growing out onto it. So this is the end of our filter here. You can see the, the plywood holding up this top bin. Well, that top bin holds nine socks. That's our filtration back there. Let me see if I can see them. Can you see them back there? Those socks are each uh, 36 inch long. They're seven inches wide and they are a hundred micron each. So the main water comes in this way, flows down and a few other hoses of small hoses from other tanks get pumped here. And then this is the main system intake. And it goes, and this is used as a set, after it goes through the nine socks, that's the filter. Then it goes through a settling chamber. This whole 800 gallon tank, it just settles. And then the water off the top over here in this pipe comes through, goes behind the 75 and goes into this thing. So this is our back biological bacteria filter. And then it comes down out of there. Now in here, we try not have no fish in here, but we do have the three stingrays for uh, Brian. And there is a, let's see if we can see them. There is an arapaima that hangs under there. Um, it looks like there's four stingrays in there. Okay, so we got four stingrays for Brian. And then, uh, you know, all these tanks here, their filters come over and they go into this tank. And it goes through and then through the mechanical and then the biological and then comes down into our, basically this pool is our sump. And that's the water that we pump up to everything. Oh, Josh had taken the uh, uh, albino red tails and put over here from Brian's tank. They were getting attacked by the uh, 
what do you call it, the, the uh, alligator guard. But uh, this tank here, it is, is just something by itself here. Ah. We've got two sets of breeding discs in here. There's uh, three here. I don't know where the fourth one is. But just look at the beauty of this guy. I can't get over that. That fish is just amazing. Every time I check him out. And he's in the back of the tank now. When he comes up front, he just he's so much bigger. That's just amazing. Oh, look, now you can see a lot of the clown loaches out. That's why I love watching this tank. You can come out here and sit here, and things will just change. The scenery changes. You don't see no discus. Oh, there's an elephant nose in there. I don't know if you've seen him. He's right under there. Um, the scenery changes so much. Oh, there's an albino quarry cat. That you can just sit here and things change. All of a sudden you see no discus. All of a sudden you see four discus. You hardly see any clown loaches. Then a whole crowd of them. This guy here, he disappears where you can't find him at all. And, you know, you have to go in here with a, a stick trying to, you know, poke behind things. And all of a sudden you see him. And it's full glory. There he is up front. Beautiful fish. And this kind, this is the kind of tank I can just sit here and watch and watch and watch. Oh, well, there's clown loaches over here. So now there's only two discus there. Oh, there's three up there. So where's the fourth one? Okay, look how many clown loaches. And these crypts were actually doing better before I put the uh, uh, Air, uh, uh, African Era 1 in here. Uh, now they're covered with, with sand all in their center-wise and stuff, and I have to keep clearing them off. So we're gonna have, we're waiting for this arowana to get a little bit bigger so we can put them in another tank and get them out of this system here. And then the plants will start growing back again because this thing here was overgrown the plants, and now they all seem to be halted a little bit, slowed down for the least. But, yeah, I just love looking at this tank. Oh, there's that uh, elephant nose. They can, they can hide so good, you, you can't even tell they're there. So you never know what's going to pop up next. I just can't get over this guy right here. Look at that. Amazing. That's a show-winning fish right there. can't tell that's the two that are made it made it all together but yeah I was told to enter him into the Ohio Cichlid Association and see if he'd win anything there and I just I don't have time for that kind of stuff it is this upcoming uh, I think it's next Thursday and uh, anybody that goes to the Ohio Cichlid Association usually comes over here and gets them a tour um, Josh lowered the price down at tours to ten dollars a head so and any of the vendors, of course, are free. But uh, you know, we hang out here the whole weekend that the Ohio Cichlid Association is up and running. And we try and help them out best we can. Last year, we took about five uh, volunteers over there, and we helped with water and you know filling tanks and doing all kinds of different stuff. So let me zoom back out here. Yeah, these guys are really cool. But that. Look at that shoal. Look how many back there. They're all hiding behind there. Sorry for the dirty glass. Oh, there's that elephant nose. Oh, we just caught that uh, African arrow. Going down and getting getting sand. I don't know if you guys seen that or not. Let's see if he does it again. Come on, buddy. 
wouldn't. You know you're hungry. Go try. I think he's gonna do it. Here he goes. No. Nope. Changed his mind. Oh well, but you guys get the point. You see why I love watching this tank. It's just amazing. So every tank doesn't have to be huge. Every tank doesn't have to be, you know, this this monstrosity. As long as you've got something special in it, it's special to you and it's special to me and you know, it's something other people don't have and you can you can just watch it. And other people can appreciate it. That's what this tank's about for me. What's that back there? Oh, there's a Chinese algae eater. See, the more you look, the more you find in here. It's crazy. So. All right, next week we'll specialize in another tank. Or not next week, but Monday. And we'll, we'll go deepen into it. So, thanks guys for uh, hanging out with me. And, of course, stay fishy, my friends. Oh, somebody recently said that, uh, you know, why don't we film at a higher resolution? All my video is done at 4K. If you're not seeing it in 4K, go to your settings on the video on YouTube and change it. It's They changed their thing, so now everything's at 480. Go ahead and change it to higher picture quality and change it up more than that and until you get to 1080p. Then you can see what we're actually videoing out at, or 4K in my case. I think Josh videos in 1080p on a couple of things, um, like his reels or something like that. I don't remember what it was. And there's reasons for that. Facebook don't don't accept anything higher or some, some craziness like that. But I, I do everything in 4K. So go ahead and change your settings and to get a better viewing, you know, situation out of it. All right, guys. Take care and stay fishy, my friends.